Hi everyone, it's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for the likes, the shares, the wonderful comments, the subscriptions, and all that you do to keep this channel going. I really, really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, please do. It's easy enough. Just hit the subscribe button below and then hit the bell. Done. All right. Also, I want to say thank you for the Christmas cards. And I also got some little special little gifts. And that really surprised me. And it really means a lot to me. So thank you. Now, now listen, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now I get to say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I apologize for the delay in the show. In fact, in the community section, I did write, it seems like a solo show has more delays than a Trump lawsuit. I'm sorry. But do you ever have one of those days, in addition to Mercury Retrograde Shadows period, where you're just like, mm, that's how I'm going to sum this up. But I'm back, and I'm ready to go. So let's get a little bit of housekeeping done, okay? First of all, you're probably sick of hearing this, but I finally released the guided meditation, Unleash Your Creativity. In addition, I am working on some titles for 2024. So if you have any suggestions for what guided meditations you would like, please list them below in the comment section, and we'll get to those and look at them. But you don't have to do anything about getting slim and trim. It's covered. I'm working on that one right now. Also, I've been asked about memberships. Yes, I am going to be adding memberships to my channel. Um, I'm just trying to keep it simple and keep moving forward. In addition, I have some ideas for merchandise. And no, it's not going to be my mug on a, on a mug. Say that 10 times. No. Okay. So we'll see. So my New Year's resolution is basically to be more consistent with everything. I mean, I tell all my clients to take care of themselves because the mother feeds herself first before she feeds her children. And if she doesn't, she has no milk for her children. She has no energy to raise her children. Well, I was spent. So that's basically what happened. And now I understand the saying, the cobbler's kids always need shoes. So all that being said and done, let's move on. I got some wonderful, wonderful questions from everyone. That's what's great about this. I just put in the community page, questions, and you give questions. Wonderful questions. So the one topic that came up, of course, was the Supreme Court. Now I'm going to break that up into two, actually three categories. First, as June Brewer asks, will SCOTUS give Bo 45 immunity? And Castic 37 asks, will the D.C. Court of Appeals agree with the recent amicus brief from American Oversight that they don't have jurisdiction to rule on Trump's immunity? Well, we don't have to worry about the, the second one because it's going to the Supreme Court. In fact, tomorrow, January 9th at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the D.C. court case, oral arguments in Trump D.C. Circuit Appeal of Judge Chutkin order denying Trump's motions to dismiss based on presidential immunity and constitutional grounds. Say that 10 times. So what I get on this and what I have been getting on this is that they will come to the conclusion that Trump does not have presidential immunity, period. So that the D.C., case moves forward in fact all of them do all right now the second question in front of the supreme court which they said they listened to is regarding the ballot in colorado as you know they took them off the ballot and then in maine they took them off the ballot reason because of the 14th amendment section 3 basically he's an insurrectionist and unqualified and it goes without saying he's not permitted 
to run for office. So, uh, will SCOTUS rule on ballot issues is one of the questions. And I, I got this from a couple people. Now, the, the oral arguments on that, and they're moving fast, is Thursday, February 8th. And that's when they'll follow later on with the decision whether or not his name is on the ballot or not, whether he's an insurrectionist or not. Now, what my guides get and what they've hinted at is that nobody wants to touch this. They do not want to get involved. This is, okay, let's go to the history books and make this history. They don't want that. They didn't mind with Roe versus Wade, but this one is different. Now, the first thing I keep on getting is that they don't want to touch this, so they may hand it over to Congress and let them deal with it. But whether they put him on the ballot or off the ballot, it doesn't matter. Because what I keep on seeing is that the man is not going to cross the finish line in any way, shape, or form. So don't fret. It's all theater. It's all smoke and mirrors. It's all distraction. That's all this is. It, it's nice to see these things that our government is working and that things that have been put in place are working. But at the same time, don't overwork your brain. I get Trump winning. Last. Fooled you. Now, Mubasaya, I'm sorry, I'm like a high school substitute school teacher when I say names. Will at least two Trump SCOTUS be replaced in 2024? Will we lose Republican senators before the 2020 election? Thanks. Okay. I've been saying this for the last two years, that I felt Clarence Thomas was going to step down for health reasons, has nothing to do with his wife, for health reasons in October before the election. And um, as far as anyone else, I'm not sure right now, but for 2024, I feel as Clarence Thomas, believe it or not. And I have said this on many other shows that within the next five years, I feel there will be 13 Supreme Court justices due to the fact that there are now 13 appellate courts. We had nine appellate courts when they voted for nine Supreme Court justices. Simple as that. Okay. Now, there was one thing I was not going to get into, but I have to, about the Supreme Court. They overturned Roe v. Wade with the Dobbs decision. Now they're proving themselves to be just as draconian as before when it comes to women's reproductive rights. There's a case before them regarding Idaho. On Friday, they're allowing Idaho to enforce possibly the strictest abortion ban in the country, which cites doctors as basically murderers and criminals if they perform an abortion or help with one. And they're going to enforce it, allow it to be enforced, even in medical emergencies. While the fight continues. The justices, the, all the justices said they would hear arguments in April and put on hold a lower court ruling that had blocked the Idaho law in hospital emergencies based on a lawsuit filed by the Biden administration. In other words, the lawmakers in Idaho struck down abortion in such a way that it's even stricter than the Dobbs decision. So if these hospitals want federal funds, which they all do, then they have to follow federal guidelines. And what they're proposing is way beyond federal guidelines. So they're taking it to court, taking it to the Supreme Court. However, instead of keeping 
the way it is, it's status quo and put a stay. They release the stay. Now, the hearing will be in April. We know this is not going to be heard in a week or two. They'll probably make their decision September. I'm serious. So between now and September, what are the women in Haida O supposed to do? Flee? Go to another state? Because the way this is written, the woman basically has to be at death's door for them to intervene, if they intervene. Now, this is a horrible prediction, and I hope to God I am wrong about this, but I feel between now and the time the Supreme Court makes a decision on this abortion law in the Supreme Court is going to go along with it. I hope I'm wrong. Number one, for states' rights. And if that happens, there's a lot of other states that are going to follow suit. However, I am also predicting right before they make that decision, there are going to be three deaths of women whose lives could have been saved had they followed the guidelines of the federal law of the Biden administration. So again, I hope I am wrong with this, but we shall see. I feel at the last minute, they pull back because they don't want to be hated as much as they already are, okay? So moving forward. Now there's this man named Trump, you know, dumpster Trump. Um, question, Arthur, looking forward to your show. Thank you when I put it up. When will the Jan 6 trial start? And will it be completed before the election? Will Trump face justice before the election? And will further indictments follow for Trump and his unnamed conspirators? Well, just let you know, there's some other stuff going on in Trump world. On Tuesday, January 16th, uh, the E. Jean Carroll case in New York that trial begins on damages only. And since he's just this past weekend said derogatory remarks again and slandered E. Jean Carroll, look for the damages to be close to what Rudy Giuliani had to pay. Okay? And then on Wednesday, January 31st, is the New York civil fraud where Justice Engron will write his final decision. Now, what we have here is New York originally saying they wanted $250 million, minimum, at least. And now it's been raised to $370 million. I feel the number's going to go up. I also feel in the end of the day, they lose their licensing. He will not be able to do any type of work, real estate, or anything in New York. And that goes along with his sons and possibly daughter. He may try and work around it, but Letitia James is not going to allow it. They're losing their licensing. That's the way I read it. So, moving forward. Will FO 45 criminal trial, which will go first? Well, as we know, Judge Chuckin had put in place Monday, March 4th for the DC court case to go forward. And I still feel the date is going to be kept. I don't see it shifting. I see the Supreme Court actually coming out with the decision sometime in, by the end of February. And so they can go on with the trial. So that's the first one. And then we have 
Don't forget Monday, March 25th, uh, the New York election interference, you know, the Stormy Daniel thing. And I just find it so petty and crazy that Trump tried to get Judge Mershon trying to get him thrown off the case. One of the reasons being he gave $15 to the Biden administration to win against Trump. $15. That's petty. Now, later on in the year, we have the May 20th Mar-a-Lago thing, which is going to get extended thanks to Judge Cannon. But I don't feel that Judge Cannon in the long run will be the final judge on this case. It may not get heard until the election or after the election. But then we have D.A. Willis in Georgia with her RICO Act on August 5th is the date she's proposed. So there's a whole calendar here. So I am saying that the trial start, and it will be completed, the January 6th trial will start and will be completed before the election. And at the same time, I've been saying after the first quarter, the names of the unnamed co-conspirators are going to start to be revealed once the trial is underway. And it's not going to be pretty, people. Now, user asks, what criminal charges will 45 be convicted of in 2024? Will there be a conviction before the election in November? Yes, as I just said. Now, how he's up for four, four counts. Now, I'm not sure which counts are going to go, which are not, but my guides keep on saying three. I keep on hearing the number three. So, and you know, I name my guides Manny, Mo, and Jack, so maybe that's why the three. Better than Mo Shemp and Curly, I guess. But, um, well, Larry, there's another quick question from Teresa, which I really liked. Um, will Trump ever go before the ICC in The Hague for crimes against humanity, not only for his mishandling of the pandemic, but more importantly for spreading fam separating families at the border? many of which have not been reunited and possibly never will be. Unfortunately, I don't see that happening for Trump. In the meantime, I do see Steve Miller, who was the architect of the rip the children away from their parents at the border. He will get his comeuppance one way or another. I do feel there's some type of, in June, July, something's coming to bite him big time. And... He won't have any immunity. He won't have anything. And he's got some splaining to do. All right. So as we witness Trump slowly dripping down, the, slipping down the drain, let's turn to President Joe Biden. Now, the one thing that Trump has been running around yelling about is that Biden is old. Biden is senile. Biden is mentally incapacitated. Biden's a crook. Biden's this. Biden's that. And we all know that's just pure projection, right? Whatever he says Biden is doing, he's doing. So I all think we should get a petition and get Marvin Hamlish's estate to allow the Trump organization to use his song, Nobody Does It Better. Because nobody does it better. Who's the crook? Trump. Who's the daughter old man? Trump. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And at the end of the day, when all this happens, I mean, it's really like the way Trump's going on and on. I really feel these court cases, especially the DC in March, it's going to change some people's minds. But we'll talk about that in a bit later. Now, I'm predicting that Joe Biden is going to be coming out swinging and hard now that we're in 2024. He was quiet before. He knows what he's doing. When he's saying it was about democracy and everybody's the pundits saying, oh, it's, don't go there. Well, who is right? He's got a pulse of this country more than anyone else. Well, Trump has the pulse of the dare I say, vermin of the country, entertainment purposes only. 
But anyway, June asks, will Biden come up with a border immigration plan that A, will work, and B, will pass Congress? Well, he's already presented stuff. I mean, the first week, him and Kamala Harris had something, but got shot down. Now, just recently, he offered a $14 million package, which Mike Johnson just threw in his face. Said, no, 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 we don't want it. In fact, even during an interview, Jake Tapper even said, what, you don't want $14 billion? Well, yeah, right. Now, as far as Mike Johnson, I've been asked many times, in fact, by Marianne, ask, when will the preach of the house be removed? Well, as I've said before, and I'll say again, 10 minutes after his name was announced, I was on my community page saying, don't panic. He's going to be gone by May. And it'll be due to scandal. So it's going to get ugly. But I do feel a whisper. He's going to piss off some people in the right mega, mega, mega people. The really crazy ones. And they're going to get pissed off and then they're going to want to oust him. And I believe there'll be a whisper campaign starting like maybe the very first whispers at the end of January. But then as we get into the end of February and March, there's a crescendo. And then by May, I feel he's gone. And let's face it, everybody has skeletons in their closet. And I think closet being the appropriate word for entertainment purposes only around him. But there's stuff that's going to hit the fan. And it's not going to be pretty. And people are going to be shocked. And as far as the insurrection goes, every time I look at this man, first I saw a shark, because that's who he is. They come silently and then grab you. But more and more I think about it, I keep my guides keep on showing me a kabuki theater. So basically, yeah, he's he's in the kabuki theater dressed in black, moving all the pieces, and you don't see him, supposedly. But the light's going to be shown on him, and it's not going to be pretty. But here's the one thing. The Republicans make big problems and point the problem, but they have no solutions. Nor, when a solution is given to them, will they take it. That way they can bitch about it. But this Texas Republican representative, Troy Niels, N-E-H-L-S, sums it up. This is the Republican Party. This is a quote. Let me tell you. I'm not willing to do too damn much right now to help a Democrat and to help Joe Biden's approval rating. So it's all there, doesn't it? And people ask me, are they good Republicans? It doesn't matter. Got to vote them out. Okay. Now, Linda's asking, I know that technically Vice President Kamala Harris, Kam I'm so sorry. Kamala Harris, I've been watching too much Fox, Kamala Harris has already become our first female president while President Biden was under anesthesia for colonoscopy. In the future, will she get the job 24-7? Well, as I've been saying, they're standing side by side, but she's not holding him up. He's not a doddering old man. He does Pilates and rides his bike every day. Or when he can. So other readers are feeling that towards the end, he may step down. I'm not sure. There will be times I feel that Kamala Harris will take the reins. For how long, I'm not sure. When, I'm not sure. But I do not see her running in 2028. Okay. Now, moving along, I was asked about the eclipse in April. I'm not Andre, but hope your new year is going well so far. Well, I'm here tonight, eight days later. My question is to do is do you sense anything important happening during the 8 April solar eclipse? 
Some readers are saying it will be an important time. Thanks, Rima. Also, will the April eclipse impact the energy of the U.S.? This is how I'm reading it. Now, I've been saying that names are going to be released after the first quarter. That there's a shift coming up after the first quarter. And that even the press is going to cheat Biden with respect. Because the Trump trial... Sorry, the Trump trial train in Crazyville will all be in place. And people will see it. I read this solar eclipse as like a reboot, a restart. Because around this time that I'm feeling a lot of this shift is going to be happening. The way I see it, it's kind of like people are going to start seeing Trump through different eyes. I would equate it to that little boy in the crowd that points up and says very loudly, he's naked. He, the emperor's not wearing clothes. He's naked. So let's see if that happens to Trump. If it does, I hope he's still wearing his diaper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I do feel it's a reboot. And the energy shift is going to be great. And I've been making these predictions not even knowing about the eclipse coming up. And sometimes eclipse energy to me reads like a jokester or things happen out of nowhere. And that's what I feel this is. It's like we're going from this shady period. We go into dark, complete darkness, and all of a sudden the light, you know, it's like the light of God. You know, if I was Handel, he wrote a C major chord to represent God, the sunlight. That's what it is. Big C major chord. So, and it's all good. Now, I'm going to call this section weather and other disasters. Okay? Because I did get a lot of questions about upcoming events. I'll put it that way. From Josephine, greetings, Arthur. Will there be any more earthquakes hitting Japan this year? I keep remembering the writing of Edgar Casey saying that Japan will sink into the ocean. There's always little quakes, their own faults. However, I don't see it slipping into the ocean just yet. Not in our lifetime. Or the next one, the next one. At least that's the way I see it. And if there are any type of earthquakes, I'm not seeing a repeat of Fukushima and the tidal wave or the tsunami afterwards that was just devastating i'm not seeing a repeat of that i am seeing little quakes but i'm not seeing massive tsunamis okay then i get do you see the yellowstone park volcano erupting in 2024 no I get little sputterings. I don't know if that's such a word. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm not getting like total eruptions, Mount Vesuvius or Mount St. Helen, massive explosion. No, I just said a little. Sorry, that's what I got. I don't see it like all of a sudden changing the map and everything else. Now, user asks, do you see a major damaging earthquake? in Southern California in 2024? If yes, do you have a feel of the reading on the seismic scale? Well, anything above a six, I'm running. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's a six, seven, eight, or nine. I'm not seeing that. I live in Los Angeles. There are little quakes here all the time. In fact, Saturday, I was giving a reading. It was a Zoom reading. And I just stopped and I started staring off into the dining room. And sorry, I live near a hospital. And so then I was staring at my living, my dining room. And she said, what's wrong? I said, nothing. We just had an earthquake. I'm watching my chandelier rock back and forth. And it was like, she didn't see anything shake or move. But this is when bolted. So 
we have them all the time, but I'm not predicting a huge, a huge one right now. I don't see this like all of a sudden, if you saw the movie 2021, where all of Los Angeles is slipping into the ocean. I mean, <laughs> I remember when I saw that movie, I'm like, oh my God, I can see my house from here. You know, I don't see that happening right now. Okay. Now, also asked was, do you see any hurricanes hitting the U.S. in 2024? What about flooding from a hurricane? Yes, that I do see. I get that coming up through the Gulf. I get two major ones through the Gulf. One, Florida, but the other one towards Texas, maybe Louisiana, that way. No Katrinas, nothing like that but I do get some flooding. Now, I'm also feeling on the Eastern side, I feel more towards the Carolinas that may get some flooding. It may back, the way it comes up, it may bypass Florida, but goes straight to the Carolinas. But yes, water damage, all that, I'm not seeing lives lost. I'm just getting people writing, help me in toilet paper on the top of their houses. So anyway, so that's our whether or not we're here crazy shark 22 happy new year author happy new year crazy shark what are your predictions for the stock and cryptocurrency market in 2024 well to be honest with you i see the stock market going swing full force moving forward yes there are dips at times, but then they go up. Just like I think it was last week, they said, oh, the stock market went down. Yeah, but if you compare it to what it was when Trump was president, it's still high. So I'm not seeing anything go crazy there. I've also been predicting after, the, again, after the first quarter, that interest rates will get lower and housing market will get easier. The rental market, that's down the line. But as far as the housing market, I feel it's going to be a good time. Now, as far as cryptocurrency, I will be honest. I don't understand cryptocurrency, period. I get it's going to be what it is. Now, whenever I see cryptocurrency, I'm sorry. All I keep on thinking, and it would spell with a K, is crypto. You know, Superboy's dog. That's all I got. Sorry. But also speaking of dogs. Linda asks, there's a new respiratory illness in dogs, now documented in 15 states, which appears to be antibiotic resistant. Will vaccines soon be developed for this? What I get here, in all honesty, is there will be some announcements made, I feel, as early as the end of February. Doesn't mean there's a complete vaccine cure, whatever you want to call it, but it's figured out what it is its mechanisms, and how to stop. So it will be eradicated, but I also feel we will hear about this at the end of February into March, okay? RSA West, what's going on with George Santos or Santos? Is he still going to make more on Cameo? Is he ever going to spill the beans as he threatened? First of all, I don't see him spilling any beans because he wants people to pay him so he keeps his mouth shut. Just saying. Also, I may have this wrong, so correct me or don't scream at me if I'm wrong with this. But isn't there like a Son of Sam law that says you can't write a book about the crime you just committed and make money off it and profit? Just saying. Okay. Now, there's another topic that's been going around, which I'm not hitting much on right now, but that's to do with Epstein. Asking about the list of names, et cetera. And also, I mean, there's some questions here that would make a half hour segment on 60 Minutes. Um, all I'm gonna say is the truth will be revealed, the real truth will be revealed and justice will be served that's all the guys are telling me okay 
So sometimes I don't get information. It's because I'm either I'm not meant to know, or if I know too much, I'll mess it up, which is far for the course for me. So at this point, I'm just going to say it will be taken care of. Yes, some names will be surprising when they actually come out. The real names. Right now, there's just a list of names. No one knows how they're connected. So they'll put the dots together. And justice will be served is what I keep on hearing. Okay? Now, Wendy Valentine or Valentine. I have a question. When will the news media stop with the lies and more lies? As I said earlier, after the first quarter um, of the year, I feel that's when things are going to start to shift. And I said earlier in regards to the eclipse that afterwards, and also the trial of March 4th will be in play, that things are going to get not so horrible for President Biden. And more truth is coming out. And which leads to EPS 531, EPS 531. Will we hear that Fox News will be facing more lawsuits in 2024? And I agree with you wholeheartedly. We need to vote, vote, vote. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you, Epps. Um, well, there are there are lawsuits against Fox already, similar to the Dominion case. Now, what I feel coming up over the next two years or three years, I get that Fox is going to be split up into different organizations, or I'm not sure how that's going to work. Again, I keep on getting the number three. Remember Manny, Mo, and Jack, or Mo, Curly, and Larry? But um, we'll see on this one. But I do feel it, they're going to change as the MAGA people I'm not going to say disappear but as their presence is not known and they don't cater to them as much as they are catering to them now there's a shift in what they're reporting okay so I feel the landscape is going to change as far as the media is concerned it's not fast enough as far as I'm concerned but news has become entertainment and that's where they make their money so they create entertainment they create stories that get people upset and worried and then they cover it and they just keep going around and around so this is why i keep on saying stop getting worked up with the news media because there are three sides to every story. And one of them is the truth, which we don't see. Okay? But in the meantime, as I keep on saying, yes, we're predicting a Biden win. We're predicting the House to go to the Democrats and the Senate to go to the Democrats. However, just because we say that, you have to make it happen. Okay? So if you don't like me talking about voting, fast forward. If you like me talking about voting, stay here. So again, the most three important words right now are vote, vote, vote. Don't get caught up in the nonsense and the theater of the absurd caused by Trump and his dumpsters. Okay? At the same time, there's a lot going on in this world. I didn't hit on the Middle East. I'll do that in another show. But I'll just say, I believe there'll be a ceasefire at the end of this month into February. That's all I get so far. But it will end. So in the meantime, please send out those most benevolent outcomes to the world. 
please send out the love, light, and all that good stuff to every dark nook and cranny on this planet. We have to raise the vibration. And again, I know it sounds airy-fairy, but it does work. And most importantly, love yourselves first. And then love everyone else. And while you're at it, take care of you. Take care of others. And as I always say, stay happy. And thanks for stopping by. Oh, and stay amazing. Bye-bye.